Hey, welcome back. Let's talk about the major mechanics and the major attack in the first 960 Abyss Dungeon in Lost Ark. Now, the first thing you will know is that this Abyss Dungeon requires you to have 8 people instead of the traditional 4 people. So you and your friend must gather 8 people in total in order to attempt this Abyss Dungeon. And if you don't have 8 people, well, time to make some friends. But more importantly is that, as a quick reminder, I do stream Lost Ark on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash 1010games, so don't forget to follow me over there as well. Anyway, let's get into the first boss. However, before we begin, quickly observe that our characters currently have a diving suit on. And this is going to be how you'll be fighting the first boss. You'll gain access to completely different skills, which are going to be the diving skills, which you should spend some time to get familiar with them right before heading to the boss. As again, you will be fighting the first boss using these skills instead of your regular characters. Although coming into this first part, there isn't actually a lot that you need to know. It's pretty much just uh, for a fun mini game. The only thing you need to know is that he will periodically spawn this shark uh, ad on, which is on the screen right now. Um, and when he does spawn the shark, make sure to focus the shark down first, which will give you a massive amount of damage buff to actually kill the main boss. And that's pretty much all you need to do. You just ignore the main boss when the shark spawns to kill the shark, and then go back to the main boss. Very very simple boss, just for fun. Moving on to the second boss, you'll be back into your regular characters. However, what's the most important thing to talk about is the oxygen bar above you. From here on, you'll get introduced to the oxygen mechanics that will be present in the next two Abyss dungeon as well. These oxygen will be solely consumed over time while you're underwater, and the way you'll refill them is either by going to an air bubble or going to a flower, and you'll be able to refill your oxygen by either standing on top of the bubble or by consuming the flower. The flower do respawn a couple of seconds later, but only one person can consume a flower at a time. It's important to make sure that your oxygen does not run out because you'll then start taking massive amount of damage, so you have to pay attention to your oxygen bar. With that being said, let's move on to the second boss. Now, as always, the first thing to note is of course the red circle bad, which means that you should not stand in red indicator, which means he's about to attack you. However, but you will also be able to observe yellow indicator's attack, which we'll cover right now. When you get hit by an attack with a yellow indicator, your oxygen level will decrease, so be sure to keep track on your oxygen if you do get hit by one of these. Anyway, the mechanics will begin when a message appears on your screen, and at this point, a safe zone will be created somewhere in your area, uh, not necessarily always the same place, and then you and your party must stand in the safe zone to avoid the upcoming one-shot attack. Other than that, when you do enough damage to the boss, then his leg will be destroyed, and what will remain will be his upper body. At this point, he will gain additional attack. The boss quickly charges backward before charging forward again while shooting out a petrified ray. Any player get hit by this petrified ray will be petrified as you can see currently on the screen. A lot of my teammates are petrified, which means that they will not be able to move and will be very hard to head to the safe zone. So be sure to avoid this attack as much as you can. Otherwise, you could get one-shotted by the follow-up safe zone attack. There are some additional attack that he can do, but as always, the general rule of thumb is, well, rest circle bad, so just don't send in rest circle. But with that being said, that's pretty much the major attack as well as the major mechanic for the first 960 Abyss Dungeon in Lost Ark. So again, as always, if this video helped you out, don't forget to leave a like as well as comment and subscribe, and also follow me over on my Twitch. But with that being said, I'll leave you all over here, 